Hello and thanks for joining me today. We're just going to talk a little bit about the things that you might like to take on holiday with you for sketching. It's coming to that time of year where we're perhaps thinking about going on holiday so I thought you might find it useful for me to talk through some of the things that I take with me. Um, so firstly the, the actual sketchbooks, I usually use a size A5 when I go away. Obviously this depends on whether you're travelling abroad um, or by air and you're really limited for space or if you're going in you know this country and perhaps you can just pop everything you need in the boot so really this, you're going to have to tailor it around the space that you have yourself but I quite like an A5 because you could do a full picture across the two sheets if you wanted or you could just do something smaller uh, but it's usually quite a nice this is a Winsor & Newton one I think and it's a quite nice thick cartridge paper so although it is only a cartridge paper you can pop a little bit of water on there to get a splash of colour if you did want that okay so I don't like to take lots of things and I do actually quite like just sketching in pencil so often I'll just take a pencil but I usually take a spare um, because I don't want to take a knife with me for sharpening again because on a lot of air, air lines don't like you taking knives so I would usually use this to sharpen my pencils but I don't take that with me so I would just take perhaps a couple of pencils so I've got a spare and as well as my ordinary pencil sorry I should have said that one it's just a HB. As well as that one, I'll sometimes take a graphitone or instead of, like I said, tailor it to what you want, how much space you've got. But I'll sometimes just take this Derwent graphitone um, because, as you can see by the little mark there, it's actually a water soluble one. And you can just peel this back and you can use it on its side as well. So it's just a solid, solid stick. Um, and I'll just show you. Now you can add a little bit of water to that and you could do quite a nice tonal study with that. And also you can then go back on top of it as well. So you can get some nice tones and some contrast using that one. So I do quite like that to take for sketching as well. So that's two alternatives, just your pencil and your graphitone. Obviously you'd need an eraser as well if you were doing that. Sometimes, I quite often in fact, just take a pen. Um, because I like sketching in pen, it avoids you erasing things and starting again. It just makes you, you know, just carry on, forget about your mistakes. Um, so yeah, that's, again, I've done a review on these pens a few weeks ago, but Sometimes I'll just take my sketchbook and a pen and not worry about any colour or anything like that. Okay, so if you did want colour, obviously like I say it depends on space. If you wanted to take your watercolours, especially if you were just going in this country and you had plenty of space in the boot, these are quite nice little um, containers to put your water in. I never bother taking these on holiday. I'm, I use these at home around and around, about, but I don't take them on holiday. But that is something, as you can see, they'll stand quite nicely, nice and flat. So then you could take your watercolours. This isn't a travel set. You'd probably want one, you know, sort of half the size of that. But the ma main thing to look out for, if you did want to take your watercolours with you, is that you have something on the back that you can hold it with so that you can work like that whilst you're outside. But again, whoops, can't open it. <laughs> I, you know, like I say, I don't take these on holiday. It's it's too too big to, for me to be bothered. I'd rather just sketch with my pencil, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, I always oops, I've got made a mess of that. Obviously, I always um, take my camera with me. Um, so again, you can record your colours, or you can make little colour notes. If you're just doing in, in monochrome, you're just using a pencil or ink. Make little notes on the side to say what colours you've used. So if you did want some colour, these are one thing I do take now and again. Um, so these are by Caran Dash and it's, they're called Neo Colour, Colour Water Soluble. And there's 10 colours in there. Now what I tend to do with these, rather than getting them out and drawing with them, I'll make a little palette on the side. So I'll put a few colours that I think I might need on the side here. They're quite bright colours, but it's quite a handy sized little tin 
to take away with you. So that's, that one's a bit messed up. It's got green. It's got some blue on the end of it. So obviously you need to keep the ends of them nice and clean. So you can just have a pop a few colours there as if it's a palette, then put them to one side, and then I use these Derwent. Oh, sorry, I get a finer one. Um, brushes, water brushes, which have this. If you've not used them, I'm sure a lot of you have used these before yourself, but they have water in there so you unscrew the top and fill this with water and it'll last you quite a long time and to get that water through to the brush especially for the first time you just need to apply a bit of pressure to it so that your brush is wet this is quite a fine one this is a number one they come in different sizes and they come in different shapes so if you then get up, squirt it a little bit get some colour out some water out, sorry, and then you can add the colour and actually paint with it. So just make some quite delicate little watercolour type pictures. You can see that I've squirted it too much, it's, I'll just get a bit of tissue. So you need a little, a little bit of pressure on it to make the water come out, but not too much. So just lift it with a damp brush and then paint with it. You know, on something like this, you could then just add a bit of colour, perhaps give him some greeny, green shorts. Okay. So they're very handy. Um, I'll just show you the other sizes that I've got. So that one was a number one. When you finish using them, it's a good idea just to give them a, a bit of a squirt to the side to get rid of any colour that's on there. That's a number two. So you can see that there's quite a difference in those two, even though it's one up, just one up, quite a difference in the size. Whoops. You can see I've not used them before, they're very dry. And just get a bit more colour. And dip and get a red one. So you can see with that one how you could soon cover quite a lot of paper. So even though it's just a cartridge paper, because it's quite thick, it's taking this little bit of water. And then just use it like watercolour on top. Okay. Like I say, just give it a squirt to get rid of some of that colour from your brush. And then this one is a chisel one. So it's a number three, but it's a chisel shape. So again, you could use it with this pencil that I used before, the Graffitone. Also by Derwent. You can see how this would be useful for buildings or skies and things using this graphitone to get a shape and then add in a little bit of water. Okay, okay, so. I think I just lost a little bit of footage there, my camera went off, so I was just talking through how you could use the pencils in the same way that you could use the Caran Dash, by making a little palette down the side, lifting it with your um, water brush and using that to pop the colour on. So to sum up really, um, I wouldn't take my paints, but that's not to say that you can't take yours. I like taking either the pencils or the Caran Dash for colour because they're handy to transport and you know this system of just putting a little palette down the side, picking up and popping a little bit of colour on your sketch works well for me. But you need to tailor it for yourself and the space that you've got and how you like working. So for me what I'll perhaps tend to do is take my book like that with maybe my Caran Dash and one of the um, pens and probably my pen and my eraser and my pencil and I'll put a, 
an elastic band around that or pop it into a bag that size and that's enough for me to take away with me. Sometimes I might even just take my pen and my book like that and that would be enough. Okay, so like I say, tailor it to yourself, what you need, what you like working with. Um, and usually we've always got a camera with us because quite often we've got cameras on our phones as well, haven't we? So, like I say, if you just want to take your pen or your pencil and make colour notes using your camera or actually writing colour notes on the side, that's fine as well. Okay, so if you are going away on holiday, um, let me know how you get on and what you like to take with you. That might be useful for other people if you put that in the comments to say what you take with you, what your materials and kit are. Um, but if you are going away, then do have a nice holiday. And thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with you again soon. Bye for now.